one hit wonder, you know. So I better get my toolkit together and kind of sharpen my knives and all that stuff and try to have an actual career in music. So I bought this guitar and made a bunch of changes to it. I won't bore you with the long list, except for the most important thing was I put a humbucker pickup right here in the bridge. That would be off of a Gibson Les Paul guitar. And it's still there, look at that. Made in America! Anyway, uh, I had heard about these guys over in England. They are named Jimmy, Jeff, and Eric. Ask your grandpa. <laughs> we would be talking about Jimmy Page, Jeff Beck, and Eric Clapton. And they were plugging Les Paul Gibson guitars into a Marshall M and making the coolest sound that ever was made in rock and roll. And I wanted to get me some of that. You know, a couple of guys I know at the same time, like Billy Gibbons, uh, were doing the same thing I was doing. Because of the same fellas in England. Anyway, let's see. So then I played this guitar on everything, you know, uh, Green River, up around the bend, uh, down on the corner. I played this guitar at Woodstock! <laughs> Thank you, Jerry. Uh, no, I meant sorry, Jerry. Thank you, Jerry. Anyway, uh, holy mackerel, the rocket ship went straight up for a couple of years, and then, of course, just like Elon Musk, he started with... <laughs> uh, anyway, about 1972, my band broke up, my girlfriend left me, and my dog bit me. <laughs> about then, this 12-year-old kid comes up to me, and he said, John, can I have one of your guitars? And I, yes, I did it. I took my most iconic, precious thing in the world, and I gave it to that 12-year-old kid, and I didn't see this guitar for a long time. And then a couple years ago, my sweet wife, Julie, went out into the belly of America, you might say. She started beating on bushes, and she found my guitar, man. She got a moment for the good of the Christmas tree. And suddenly, for the first time in 44 years, I had my baby back! Yowza! That's me on a Christmas morning. <laughs> Old dad's wearing his special jammies, yes sir. Anyway, I told you about that uh, Woodstock deal. Yep, I went up there with all the young hippie kids that we were. And uh, after that wild weekend, I went home and I wrote this song on this guitar. <laughs> <laughs> 